I'm actually just going to, I've just realized while doing this video, I'm just going to run off some things that have helped me uh, because I guess I just wanted to make this video to say, I think we all uh, look up to certain people. I know um, you guys, the same way I look at my idols and people I admire, kind of forget that we're all human and that we are all on our mental health journeys. Um, but I just wanted to just share that with you and share with you some of the, some of the tools that have helped me um, and hopefully, you know, give you some hope that it's very hard and it's a, a lot of work, but, um, and obviously every person uh, is going to decide what's best for themselves if you are struggling, but here are some of the things, here's, here's my journey and here are some of the things that have helped me. Um, I, I start, I start, I committed to 10 minutes of mindfulness every day, uh, at least. So I started, um, just every day for a year and a half, haven't skipped a day of mindfulness because it lets me focus on my breath. It lets me look at my thoughts from a more objective perspective, as opposed to believing that everything I think is true, which was think a big source of, of my anxiety um, I started that meditation was definitely probably number one it was a huge part uh, also really 10 minutes of meditating is 10 minutes training your mind and body to concentrate on being present and anxiety is really focusing on the things that you can't control and a lot of that is what may happen in the future so, yeah, mindfulness really helped me with that. I, I committed to moving my body every single day, doing some form of exercise or connecting with my body every day because a lot of it was me staying stuck up here when I needed to come down here. Um, so I started just, sometimes when I don't want to exercise, I just put on songs and dance around in my room like a crazy person for 30 minutes and sweat. As long as you're sweating and you're getting your heart pumping, that's really good for releasing getting in touch with your body and also releasing extra energy. I'm like a super insanely hyper person. So if I'm not moving, I'm in my head, like destroying my life. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, that's been really, really helpful. Um, I started, and I'll, I'll link some resources here too. I, uh, I started, what else did I do? What else did I do? Definitely changing the way I talked to myself in my own mind and learning qualities of self-compassion. Uh, Calm has really good meditations on self-compassion. Uh, they've got like 21 days of calm, seven days of stress. Uh, so that's been super helpful. Uh, I've, I've read a lot of books too, which I'll, I'll link to here in case any, anybody has the, the time to, to read. But yeah, changing how I talk to myself in my own head and really just having more compassion with myself for having a hard time instead of shaming myself for it, which I definitely reflexively used to do. I'd be like, oh my God, like I'm feeling this way again. Oh, why can't I, you know, move past this already? And that just never helps. You can't berate yourself into feeling better. Uh, and you have to just kind of hold your, your pain and your whatever your struggle is like your baby like I know that sounds cheesy but uh definitely loving myself more into healing has has been really transformational so it's kind of yeah there's like the cognitive side of that uh and 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 ways of thinking and whatever that have, that have really helped me and then there's like I'll just give you the, the practical stuff so mindfulness every day has been a real game changer exercise every day has been a real game changer uh, I do like after I, I shower, I just make the water super, super cold. And um, I learned about Wim Hof and uh, cold water therapy. And that stimulates this um, thing called the vagus nerve in your body, which kind of regulates your nervous system. And if you've experienced any sort of uh, trauma or, or traumatic experience, it can help in resetting your nervous system. And uh, paying attention to your breath and help you regulate that. So those are some of just kind of, what else do I do? Uh, gratitude journaling is great. 
10 things every day that you're grateful for, really small things like, you know, uh, sunshine on my skin and feeling the ground beneath my feet. Like just, I mean, just little, little things like that. Um, and those are just a few things of the, of the, a few things that I practices that I do daily, um, to work on my mental health because guys, if there's anything I know is that it's work, like tending to your training, your, your mind and your body and your spirit takes a lot of work. And obviously this is just my journey. And there are so many things that affect our mental health. It's not just like individual healing journey, meditation. Of course, that's all great. There's obviously collective healing that has to take place and systemic healing and, you know, entire systems um, and, and, and problems in our society. So I'm, obvi I'm obviously acknowledging that as well. But these are just some of the practices that um, have helped me in the past uh, year and a half. And I, yeah, and just, I just want to come back to my point of um, having compassion with yourself during this time if you are struggling, which I'm sure there's a lot of people that are, especially in times like these. So uh, definitely make sure that you are tending to yourself and, and taking care of yourself as best you can uh, so that we can show up and keep doing the work that needs to be done, uh, do the work in ourselves and keep doing the work that needs to be done so we can make this world a, a safer, more healing place for everybody. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I'm sure there's so many things that I left out, but I just wanted to make this quick little video. And uh, I love you guys. I'm sending you so much love and so much healing.